Hey guys, I'm Joe. And I'm Ryan. And we are Beard Giants here with another video. We got a new video um, for the guys over there at Black Rebel Beard. Um, purchased a couple more things from them. Have recent videos of their, some of the scents that we've had on their last few videos um, bombed. I mean, they, they, they were decent, but it wasn't nothing that I, I mean, a lot of their scents they had before hurt my head. I couldn't wear them all day long. They were way too strong. There was like two you liked and two you didn't yeah. like. Yeah. They definitely redeemed themselves um, with this new stuff that he has coming out. He, I think he just completely scrapped out all of his old stuff and just went with this emu stuff. Really? Yeah. Get rid of all the regular lines? I think, I'm think pretty sure he did. I was say, I'm pretty excited about this. Joe finally got one of the uh, the premium lines, I guess. Yeah, and it's a somewhat of a uh, newer scent that he has on his uh, on these new emu scented stuff. Um, and I like it too. It's a nice cologne scent. Here's the uh, label. I always love his labels. Yeah. Look at that, isn't that cool? Shing, 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 shing. And it's called uh, Super Scout. Been wearing it off and on um, past few weeks since I've gotten it. Um, probably the best stuff I've gotten from him. I've gotten, I don't know, six things I've gotten from him or five yeah, or well, whatever. Yeah, like four or five. It was like buy one, same. get one back in the day um, when I first started ordering from him. And he doesn't hardly ever do any discounts, so... When he, when he does a discount, you go buy stuff because it'll all be gone really quickly. I got the oil and then also uh, paired it with a with his butter, which he's fairly new to as well. That just came out, I don't know, like a few months ago. But this thing, look at that. I think it's beautiful. I like that container too. Like, I like uh, this how bulky it is and how took, sleek it is. I was going to say, it's like wide, but it's thin. And then like that cap that he took off, it's like rounded. So it's yeah. not, I don't know. It's kind of cool. I like it. nice I, touch. I just like the all black type thing. And he's got a new scent called cash mm -hmm. i seen like that johnny cash i wanted to buy that before we did this video but didn't have time i still wanted the original one was like the bronco buster bronco buster it's a, i was thinking about these are a lot i mean the bronco buster is probably that people say is his best scent with a little smokiness a little cologne um but this is just a straight up um a light cologne like some people say it's like a, like an aquatic that type of cologne which is what i wear uh day-to-day -day basis i love it Sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah, it reminds me of something. I can't put a finger on it though. But it's a good, good clean smell. Nice clean um, cologne scent. And uh, and his butter's awesome. I there's not the I haven't had this nice of a butter since I've used like Husky Beard. It remi I, it reminds me of Husky Beard so much. I'm trying to read that label. That that. The holographic label makes it kind of hard to read. Shing, shing. This is a, um, this butter he had earlier is two ounces. Yeah. So it's not a four ounce, but that's okay. Like we said in our other videos, it's like Chesapeake. It. I'm still working on it. I'm, I'm, I'm almost to the bottom and I wear it like almost every night. So two ounces, probably good. You're gonna be tired of it by the time you get done with four ounces. Yeah, two ounces is all I really need. Um, get me through it and so I can purchase some more. But yeah, definitely uh, my next purchases through him are probably going to be Bronco Buster and um, that cash one that he just came out with. Interesting. And this one says, uh, on this butter, I was just reading through it all, it has beeswax, which is a lot of discrepancy on whether there should be beeswax and butter or not. Hey, and he, he, says, got, he, he says he's got like the perfect, like a hybrid butter. Would you say, uh, would it have hold? Like say like oh, yeah. Husky Beard? Oh yeah, Husky, like Husky Beard. Beard's. Husky Beard has hold. This has a lot of hold too. Not, not like my other butter stuff that just melts in your hand and you're just pretty much, it's like putting another thing of oil in your beard, you know, con to condition it. I like it. I think that's good because I you can use it. You could use it throughout the day. Um, yeah. I haven't worn a butter during the day in quite some time because it's been so humid here. Yeah. But once we get to fall and winter and all that, I'll switch back over to butter all day long. Oh, yeah. I um, I love, Alex, I love their butter. And it reminds me of uh, Husky Beards, which I think they have one of the best butters out there. I like their butter. It's a nice um, whip butter. And this yeah. is the same way. So definitely this would be something worth to check out if this butter is as good as theirs and possibly better since. 
You know anything about the emu? I do not. I don't either. Should have read up on that, but I didn't do it. I know. If you uh, if you want uh, breakdowns of that stuff, you probably should go see Dan C. He'll. It's also got um, on here reading on this, but it also has lanolin in it, and I know that's something that Mike uses in his featherweight. He was one of the first ones to use lanolin, so nice. That's interesting that they're hopping yeah. on board with that. that too. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, they he shot like a bunch of videos of his butter stuff. That's like. He kept showing different types of samples of butters he was trying to get to get the perfect one. And it's kind of neat to see like the behind the scenes. I think he's got something with this new stuff. Um, this new line of uh, beard oil and butter. And I think he's got some uh, beard wash stuff too. Which would be kind of cool to get. But uh, definitely be uh, great to check them out. Uh, big redemption thing from the last videos we've done for them. Cause I didn't like any of them. I, I even on then I said I would wish I had a scent that I really like because I really like their company and I uh, love this logo and it's just a lot of it just pops out at you. But now I think he he really has something with this butter and this oil. Definitely go check them out. A little pricier than some. I um I gosh I'm trying to remember how much I paid for this. Yeah, that was the whole reason why we didn't get Emu oil to begin with because it was quite a bit more expensive than yeah. regular oils. Yeah, it's not cheap at all. It's definitely worth the uh, purchase. Blowing up my phone. It's probably my wife. You're stupid. Wrap it up, guys. Okay. I don't say that to you when you're doing your face makeup. Yeah. You know, just I don't, she got more followers. I mean, she yeah. Can, just because you're more popular than us, Catherine, don't mean you can just tell us what to do. I don't bang on the door when you're doing your makeup tutorials and say, you know, wrap it up. Girl. I gotta take a poop. Yeah. <laughs> I think he has a scent of the month thing. Yeah, scent of the month club. That's kind of cool. Yeah, you know, we New tried to stuff. try out a diff lot of different companies, but that would yeah. be a good thing to get on if you knew it. If you really like them a lot, like Black Rebel, there's a lot of people that like Black Rebel, which there's a reason for that. But, you know, having that scent of the month thing is really cool where you just get every month, you just get something different mm -hmm. to try, you know. And yeah. if you knew it was a company you liked and trusted that's going to put out a great product, that would yeah. be, a, be an interesting thing to try. We're not currently subscribed to any because we're trying to get out as many different companies as we can. We circle back to ones we like. Yeah. Whenever yeah. they drop a new scent or something, we've we've made a couple about. This is our second one for Black Rebel. We've done two or three videos for other companies, too, that we really mm -hmm. like. So. Yeah. Uh, the first time I put this in, um, instantly people asked me what I was wearing. I mean, they thought I was my cologne. But this beard oil is really thick. I don't know. Yeah, he was kind of showing me it's, uh, I don't know if it's emu oil, it's thick and also kind of like cloudy. Cloudiness. So it's really, but yeah, super thick compared to uh, some of the stuff I have. And I'm not sure, so on that cloudiness, I'm gonna assume it's something to do with the emu oil because that's something we haven't ever really seen before. Everything else on here. Yeah. It's just, I mean, argon, jojoba, sweet almond, grapeseed, all that stuff is normal yeah. on there. Um, he's got, he's got aloe vera on there and ginseng. There's a couple little odd, yeah, off odd the wall things in there. Cause the fogginess of the... But emia, well, that's the first one, so that's the most, yeah. normally it's listed for most to least amount in the thing, so maybe that's what's making it a little cloudy. A little cloudier. But I like that it's thicker. That's... I'm yeah, I mean, gonna... I think it's going to make it last a little bit longer, and it does. It lasts throughout at least... A lot longer than a lot of the ones I do have. Some of them don't last until even till noon. You know, when I work, I do a bunch of deliveries, and I'm out and about all the time, and my beard smell just kind of goes away. And even more now, since I have to wear a mask everywhere yeah. I go. So it's kind of a divided thought about should you make them thin so they absorb into your hair quicker, or... A little bit some people make them a little, a little thicker, thicker so that they'll last and just do a slow absorb yeah um it kind of reminds me it's definitely thicker than most oils that i say we've ever had mm -hmm. on our channel here before it almost reminds me of not quite as thick but um i guess boss man's jelly mm. like it's literally like i don't know runs a little bit not drops out yeah i mean you, you have to force that thing you have to squeeze that a little bit some of the other ones it kind of just drips out on its own and yeah i mean there's some resistance to it there's like you know joe had did it some before he did this video and kind of put it on his hand to show me how cloudy it was and it didn't just roll off his hand i mean yeah it that took kind a of while a, there was some uh some stickiness to it i'm back on the train with the black rebel um definitely gonna be purchasing some other stuff from them 
Um, and I, like I said before, he doesn't do a whole lot of discounts, but anything you purchase from him is free shipping. Yeah. Which is crazy. That's nice. I mean, you don't even have to purchase fifty dollars worth of stuff or a hundred dollars, whatever. The they always people are like, oh, spend this much, you get free shipping. He's just free shipping, no matter what you purchase from him, which is cool. Yeah, because I mean, that might cost you five or ten bucks an order yeah. if you weren't gonna yeah. hit the. If you didn't hit the shipping, some companies don't even offer free shipping. I know a lot of companies that. Yeah, it's been a hundred dollars is still gonna pay shipping. So. Yeah, yeah, and I, I think that's cool. I. I think that definitely gets people's uh, foot in the door when you tell them it's free shipping, no matter what you, you know, whatever they're buying. And uh, I know, so I've seen stuff on his Facebook. I, um, I'm friends with him on Facebook, and I'm in his groups. And people ask him, you know, discount. When are you gonna do another discounted stuff or a discount code? Or he's like, I, I don't really need to because my free shipping, pretty much. Yeah. I mean that that Kinda itself. I'd so. really, if if there was a discount code just for free shipping, I'd you know use that all the time. In which, you know, 15%, whatever, it usually covers the shipping, pretty much. Yeah. So, I mean, I think he's got a good thing going. I still like a sale. I'm broke. Yeah. <laughs> I normally don't get stuff unless it's on like sale. Like I said, he's got those buy one, get one freeze. Um, when we first heard about them, it was buy one, get one free stuff. And that's the only reason why we tried them, just to see what we thought of them. And unfortunately, the smells weren't the best. You know, I didn't enjoy them. Yeah, it was hit and miss. But it was kind of a, you know, a lot of them were overpowering or whatever, but um, he's definitely bounced back with this new stuff and dude's just blowing up like crazy. Everybody loves him. That's our, uh, I guess, our second take on Black Rebel Beer. Third take almost, if you would if you would say like they're the ones that hit, that missed. Yeah. The ones that missed, we had a couple others on that. But, but yeah, yeah, it's... um. Definitely this emu oil. I think there might be something to that. I see a couple companies using that this premium Line that he's got going now, I guess and then all of the cologne scents. It's definitely piqued my interest Like I said, we talked about earlier. I want to get that Bronco Buster and then there looks like there's a couple more That uh, oh, the cash I heard is like bouncing off the shelf. That stuff is nuts Yeah, guys if you haven't yet join us on Facebook follow us on Instagram. There's always a lot of stuff going on Instagram Appreciate everybody that's uh, on there with us now. They're always keeping us up to date on. I think I've got, uh, we've gotten like six or seven um, followers since last week. It's been kind of nuts here. Even today, I had like three mm -hmm. or four people just following us. And I just see all kinds of people tagging us, like yeah. different companies doing giveaways that are some new product out. And it's, um, it's neat. It. Everybody's like staying on top of it and keeping us in the loop. Yeah, this beard community is crazy. Kind of. A lot of the reviewers, we all like to. Uh, People tagging each other in this stuff is kind of cool. I like it. Have you checked out our subscribers? How many we had? We are, we're getting close. We got a couple more uh, last week. We're up yeah. to like 97, I think. Yeah, today. 97. So three more people. Almost there. Almost there. I don't know what that was. There's hooligans outside, and they're making clanging noises. Clanging noises. But three more subscribers. That's all we need to get 100. Yeah. And then we'll ask for even more because that's what we do. Yeah. We, we want more. Hundreds 100 more. is not just it. That's not our finish line and we're done with it and we'll just stop making videos after 100. No, we want to keep going. We do that. We've been talking before. Keep saying we're, we're just slowly creeping this I know. last little and our, bit. Our year is coming up too. Yeah. That we've been doing this. That's coming up pretty quick. So, um, yeah, definitely on the 100 subscribers, we will do a. Uh, a big giveaway. Yeah, one of a kind giveaway. Yeah. A beer giants only giveaway yeah, from us. Yeah. If we could hit a hundred before a year, I mean I think we It would make us feel half accomplished. Yeah, something. And we accomplished something. I mean, some of these reviewers are just blowing up like nuts and I'm like, what the heck are we doing? Wrong? It kinda blows me away sometimes because I'm like, man, they started after we did and we're still not there, but it, it's all right. If we if we if we begged, would you give us more? <laughs> if we begged, got on our knees and begged for more subscribers, but that's not. Yeah. That's we don't not, take it too seriously. We're no, not upload. We only I upload can, once a week most of the time. And we missed last week. Yeah, we just kind of took it off. Got kind of busy. We're not diehard YouTubers. It's not about the subscribers, anyways. I'm. I mean, honestly, we're. But just, we want more. Yeah, but we want more. <laughs> I mean, mainly we do this just for fun. I enjoy doing it. We do this all the time at work, anyways. We talk about beard supplies, so yeah, might as well do it in front of a camera. 
and have people make fun of us while we do so. Join us again next week as long as I remember what I'm supposed to bring because we were supposed to do a different company today yeah, and I friends. left my samples at home. So luckily Joe has like a stockpile of crap. Yeah. So we've always reviewed yet. We've always got one on board it uh, seems like. I keep purchasing every week of something different. So join us again next week guys. Until then, be, be giant. giant.